If you own a DJI Mini 4 Pro and have been waiting to use it for mapping, well, great news, because the SDK is finally out. But there's a catch. If you're using the DJI RC2, the controller with the built-in screen, you can't install third-party apps on it. That means you can't use mapping tools like DroneLink or Pix4D, and you'll need to switch to using the DJI RCN2 and a smartphone or a tablet. There is a backdoor way to get mapping missions in there from apps like DroneLink, which I've covered before, but it's a bit of a hack and it doesn't provide all the features an app working with the SDK provides. So this is the DJI RCN2. It comes with some kits or you can buy it separately. If the RCN2 isn't already paired with your drone, then select connect to aircraft and then just follow the instructions on the screen to put it into pairing mode. Press and hold the power button on the drone for four seconds until it beeps and the front LEDs start blinking. That's it. You're now paired and you're ready to fly with the RCN2. If you don't already have a DroneLink account, then you will need to set one up and install the app. That's well documented on their website, so just go there, set everything up on your phone or tablet, and come back once it's all set up. Now connect the drone and start the DroneLink app. You should be able to see the camera view from the drone on the screen. Once connected, you're ready to launch a mission, and we'll use a simple mission we planned earlier for this. With everything connected, load the mission in the usual way, and then press the play button. The drone will take off automatically and follow the planned route. As you can see, it's flying the pattern we set up in DroneLink. When it's done, it'll return home automatically. And just like that, you've completed a full mapping mission with the Mini 4 Pro. After the flight, you can download the photos from your SD card and upload them to any photogrammetry tool like WebODM, Drone Deploy, or Pix4D for processing. So there you have it, mapping with a Mini 4 Pro. As always, if you found this helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.